After having to wait for it for many months due to the delayed release from Happer Wings, we now have to ask the question, was it worth the wait? Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A320 Neo from Iberia. At the front of the box we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside and on top of the box we have the Iberia branding. Then on the back side of the box we only have one thing of interest as this is a 2019 release. In that case it is an image of the actual aircraft in real life. And here she is, the Airbus A320 Neo in the current livery of Iberia. Now, as I said, we have been waiting for this aircraft model for quite some time as the release from Happer Wings was delayed by many months. So now with no further ado, let's take a closer look at some of the many details this aircraft model has to offer. And we start off with the tail section where we can see the Iberia branding on the vertical stabilizer. On the fuselage, we then have the Spanish flag, the full registration code of the aircraft, and the crown of the Spanish royal family. At the front of the aircraft, we find along the fuselage the writing of Iberia. Underneath that, we have the aircraft type specification, and we also find a One World logo of which Iberia is a member. Now this A320 has, just as its big brother, the A350, been given some nice black coloring around the cockpit windows. We also find the window wipers printed on and just underneath the cockpit windows we have the name of the aircraft. The engine nacelles have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage but they do carry the Iberia branding and they are pretty decently detailed. If you look here at the back side we can see some nice detailing around the exhaust and of course if you look into the front we can see the engine fan blades. Just above the wings we then find the emergency exits printed on the fuselage and that leads us to the wings because they are also very nicely detailed so we should definitely take a look at them. Here we can see on the top side we have all the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely. We do also have the markings again for the emergency exits on the wing. The underside of the wing is also pretty decently detailed where we then again find the full registration code of the aircraft. Also very nice on the wings are of course the uh, winglets which again have been given the Iberia colors. I think that looks pretty decent as well. And also with the landing gear, I think Harper has done a pretty decent job, again considering it is a 1 to 500 scale, and for that I think it looks rather nice. And then last but not least, we do of course also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A320 Neo in the current livery of Iberia. And what can we say about today's aircraft model? Well, I think the print quality is really, really good. The physical details are also of a high standard. The only issue we have is really the ground clearance of the engine cells, and that is a well-known issue with all Airbus A320 Neo family aircraft from Hapwings in scale 1 to 500, so not a particular fault of this one aircraft model itself. But it is a shame that despite the many months delay, Harper hasn't managed to solve this issue. But if you can look past that, then I would say it is definitely an aircraft worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then feel free to smash the like button. That really helps us out. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.